going to my second year of uni, I'm excited. I'm leveling up some of my self-improvement habits. I started going to the gym, you know, looking good and feeling good about myself. When it came to socializing, I was that guy that was at the bottom tier. I was literally at level one. The first excuse that popped to my head was I was a so-called introvert. We know that we want to be socially validated. You want to be the guy that is in a flow state, not the guy that you see wearing hoodie and plugs around the school. Like a weirdo, literally, honestly, to be fair, this was me. In this video, I will share with you how I have drastically I mean drastically to approaching different people, to sparking up conversations and never running out of what to say. I'll discuss them in this video and this will help you improve your social skills and make you stand out immediately. Point one, rejection is a lie. Approaching people and sparking up conversations can seem like you're climbing a mountain. You have this voice in your head saying, what should I say? How do I look? I'm actually cool. Just making a thousand excuses. All these voices in your head all come from the fear of being rejected. And you need to get this out of your head as soon as possible. You are not that laid back guy. You are just scared of being rejected. Let me tell you the truth. Most people are open to meeting new people. Be curious about them. You see something that piques your interest, ask them about it. You and I are no guru in this field. You are still in level zero. So start small. Start with the people around you. Your family, friends, neighbors. Go out and meet people at the park. That is how you move to the next level. Walk up and get that number. You might never know. Let's just come, let's think about this. You see all these tiny people here. Let me show you something. You see, you see these thousands of people here thousands of buildings thousands of people right you are just you are just a speck among the thousands of people outside so don't be scared man point two ask questions this is the best way to never run out of what to say but let's face it everybody loves to talk about themselves their interests their hobbies the last place they visited since you are trying to know them which is the obvious point of the conversation that is the way to go ask them questions about some of the values you have so for example let's say this guy is into working out you know you should have a conversation about working out i don't know but questions that reflect who you are there's this good quote i love from my sensei go deep and not wide this is you trying to penetrate them with substance where their minds are how far their ambitions are in this life are conversations with substance conversations with meaning this shouldn't be questions that they ask you in every job interview. That will just make you boring immediately. And the funny thing is, you are not boring. You have a life. You have things you do. You spend 24 hours doing something interesting. So does the other person. So that is just, you know, ah, conversation will pick up. Allow yourself to just, you know, just throw in your thoughts here and there. That is the best way to go about it. Point three, listen. So you're interested in the full parts of this video which is the most important part of the video. Make sure you check the link in the description, the top link. This will allow you to get the full video and it's also allow you to get my longer form content, my entire video scripts. Um, it's a come with a free planner as well and I'll keep sending you out free stuff and long form writing content, which will add much, much more value to you. So I highly encourage you, top link in the description. Let's get it. How you like the view i want all the day been enjoying it so far but sadly as in sadly i'm almost back to school so i'm leaving this place right now cheers guys enjoy